Hey, Nish from To The Point Tech here. Today I've got a tutorial for you. I'm going to be showing you how to use GIMP, which is an awesome free piece of software to add transparency to photos. I've got two examples for you. One of them's quite straightforward and the other one's a little bit trickier, but without further ado. Okay, so I've got GIMP opened up and the first image we're going to look at is this nice little maraca thing. So you can see it's a nice professional clean image and I just want to get rid of this white background basically. Now the way I like to get the image into GIMP is to drag and drop that in. Don't worry about any kind of color profile stuff for now. The first thing you're going to want to do is add a alpha channel if it's not already there. So you do that by going on layer, transparency, add alpha channel. We've already got one, so we're good to go. Now, because this is a nice professional picture, we can use the fuzzy select tool. This is a really cool tool. What happens is when you click somewhere in the image, it will basically look around it, find all the pixels that are similar color and select them too. And it's as easy as hitting delete after I've selected the white parts of the image. And you can see that was very quick. And what I can do now is export the image, maybe give it a different name, make sure you save it as a file format that supports transparency, for example, PNG. And we have our results here. You can see I've got rid of that white background, but we can go a step further and improve this. I'm just gonna zoom into the middle here. I'm using the control and scroll wheel shortcut. That's really handy. You can also use the scroll wheel to drag around the image. Now, if I look at this middle selection and get rid of it, what you can see is there's kind of these white and gray pixels left behind. Now, maybe I don't want those. And to get rid of them, what I could do is again, Again, take my selection and grow that selection by say two pixels and now when I delete you can see that I've got rid of those extra pixels and kind of cut into the image a little bit but it gives a kind of more clean cut between the image and transparency but maybe instead you actually want a white border so what you could do there is select and shrink the border and now when I delete, you can see I've got this nice white border. Now you can do this in GIMP, but one problem you get is, for example, on the edges of the image, if I do the same thing with my shrink, then I get this like kind of white border on the edge, which I don't really want. And I've got a tutorial coming up to use Inkscape to do kind of something similar, but give you a much better result and let you use kind of any color you like. So stay tuned for that. The last thing I want to show you is called the feather tool. And again, I'm gonna select this middle bit and I'm gonna go on select and feather. And what this is gonna do is make a more gradual transition between the image and transparency. Nothing's happened yet, but when I delete this selection, you can see that there's a much more gradual change here going from the image to the transparency. What I've got here are the three kind of examples I've shown you. So the first one normal was just quickly deleting. Here I've used the grow function to kind of cut into that white a little bit. And here you can see the feathered image. Didn't quite work on the edge of the image very well, but that's gonna depend from image to image. Okay, so now for the more complicated image. So this is a picture I've taken on my phone and it's going to present some challenges as we will see. Again, the first thing we want to do is go on layer, transparency, and add in that alpha channel. Now here's the problem. Now if I try and use the fuzzy select tool, it's useless. Like I tried to do it on the carpet here, it gets rid of really grainy bits, but it's really not helping in our quest to get that nice transparent background. What we're gonna have to do is use a manual method. Another quick shortcut for you is Control shift a that will get rid of any selection you've got, clean it up. So we're using this lasso tool, this free select tool, and you wanna zoom into your image. This is gonna be a time where you're gonna to wanna to reduce the DPI on your mouse if you can, that will make it much more accurate. Now the lasso tool, if you click and let go, it gives you straight lines, but if you click and hold, it gives you a free hand. So that lets you kind of go around any curves, but then also quickly go on straight paths if you need to. So I'll just get rid of that selection again. I'm gonna start on this corner. I'm gonna do this fairly quickly because I'm just showing it for the purposes of the video, but you can take as long or as little time as you want. So I finished with the selection, but there's one problem. If I hit delete now, I get rid of the very thing I wanted. So instead, what we have to do is right click, select and invert that selection. So it will basically select everything else. I hit delete and there we go. If you were doing a quite a complicated image, you might want to use the eraser tool to kind of tidy up the edges, but otherwise you're good to go. All you have to do is export the image again using PNG as my preferred format. Maybe add something onto the title to say that you've changed it to transparent. And here are the results. So here's my image, nice, nice transparent background. I used this in one of my video thumbnails actually. It is obviously a little bit more time consuming with complicated pictures like this, but you can get quite quick at it. I'd say it only takes me a few minutes to do a picture if I'm, you know, had some coffee or something. Okay. Hey, thanks very much for watching. Hope this was useful. Do let me know in the comments what you thought. Subscribe and stay tuned. I've got that Inkscape tutorial coming up very soon and I'll catch you in the next one.